Hi everyone. Today we're going to extend our knowledge about functions and talk about how to complete function operations. So by the end of this you should be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions. Now we're going to do one example for each of those concepts using the following two functions. So we'll call f of x 2x plus 5 and g of x is x squared plus 1. We're going to use those throughout. Okay, so to start, we're going to take a look at this notation here. So number one, you have f plus g and an x, and then there's another one that says f plus g with a 3. What this really says, if you see this notation, is you're going to take f of x and add g of x. Okay, these two notations mean the same thing. Now, the other example is very similar, except you have a 3. So what this says is you're going to take f of 3, and add g of 3. Okay, so really what you're doing is you're just combining the functions, you're adding them together, um, and combining like terms if you can. So first f of x plus g of x, well f of x is 2x plus 5, g of x is x squared plus 1, you're just going to combine like terms and add those together. So you'd get x squared plus 2x plus 6. Now f of 3, I don't know I wrote g of x, that should be g of 3, this would be f of 3 plus g of 3. So your input would be 3, and then you're just going to add them together. So first we can find f of 3, which is 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 5 is 11. And then you're going to find g of 3. So that means you take 3 and plug it in g. So 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. And then you're just going to add those together, and you'll get 21. Okay, so really when you see these notations, it's just saying f and g are the functions you're working with. You're going to add them together, and whatever's next to it is the input. If you prefer, you can always translate this into this notation here. Okay, very similar if you're doing subtraction. So when it says really says, um, I want you on your own to try and translate it to look like this. Again, it's very similar to addition, so I'll come back with the answer. Okay, if done correctly, you should have translated this notation. This really means f of x minus g of x. Not that you're distributing, but you can kind of think about it that way. This really means f of negative 5 minus g of negative 5. So let's start with f of x and g of x. f of x is 2x plus 5, and you're going to subtract g of x, which is x squared plus 1. Okay, now what do you think of what I just wrote here? Hopefully you're saying, hey, I want to subtract all of g of x, not just the x squared. So when you're doing subtraction, you need to be very careful. You do need parentheses, because you want to subtract the x squared and the 1, not just the x squared. Okay, so that, again, will simplify and translate to 2x plus 5 minus x squared minus 1. Okay, that's the most common mistake in these function operations, so please make a note of that. Even write it down if you need to. So your final answer would be x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay, I want you to go ahead and try this one on your own, and I'll come back with the answer. Okay, check your work with mine. I showed all my work here. So first, I found f of negative 5. So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, plus 5 is negative 5. Then I found g of negative 5. Now be careful, if you're squaring it, you're squaring the whole thing. So negative 5 squared is 25, not negative 25. Plus 1 would give you 26. So then you're going to do f minus g, so it's negative 5 minus 26, which is negative 31. Okay, that's addition and subtraction. They're very similar. The only thing you have to be careful of is the subtraction and the signs there. Multiplication and division, um, it's very similar. So this says f times g where the input is x, which really means f of x times g of x. Or this one over here means f times g, but the input is 4. So it's really f of 4 times g of 4. Okay, and division is similar, but division. So this means f divided by g where the input is x. So it'd be f of x over g of x. Or, again, if you have an input, it's very similar, but you're going to input 2 instead of x. So I'm going to plug 2 in f, plug 2 in g. So it would be f of 2 divided by g of 2. So you can always translate these statements the way I'm doing it here. Okay, so just to kind of run through these real quick, f of x times g of x. Um, I find it's harder with the function. So I'll do the function, and you can do the one with the numbers and the input. So it's 2x plus 5. times g of x was, what was it, x squared, I forgot already, x squared plus 1. I do want to go over this because you have to remember how to multiply binomials to do this or to simplify this. So you can call it whatever you want, FOIL or double distribute. 
Really what you're doing is you have to multiply the 2x by all of x squared plus 1, and you have to multiply the plus 5 by all of the x squared plus 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to double distribute, is I'm going to take 2x and distribute it to the x squared and the 1. So 2x times x squared will give you 2x to the third, because x times x squared is really x times x times x, which there are then three x's. Okay, 2x times 1 will just give us 2x. Okay, now I'm going to do the distribution process with the 5. So it's 5 times x squared, which is just 5x squared, and then 5 times 1 is just 5. Okay, so combine your like terms and you can get your final answer. Um, and actually, in this case, there are no like terms, but I'm just going to reorder this um, from highest exponent to lowest exponent. So it would be 2x to the third plus 5x squared plus 2x plus 5, and that's your final answer. Okay, I'm going to leave the one with the inputs for you to do on your own. So just plug in 4 to f of x and g of x and then multiply them. I'll come back with the answer in a little bit. Okay, I want to show you also how to divide polynomials. Um, so we're going to just plug in f of x and plug in g of x. So f of x is 2x plus 5, and g of x is x squared plus 1. And guess what? There's nothing I can really simplify here, um, so that is my final answer. Technically, you could split the numerator, so this is really the same thing as 2x over x squared plus 1, plus 5 over x squared plus 1, but it's kind of unnecessary to do that. Uh, there's nothing you can simplify because there's no multiplication. So hypothetically, you could simplify if there was an x here, because then you could cancel the x's, which couldn't simplify 5. Um, but there's not actually an x here, so you can't do that. Um, we can just leave it up above. Okay, so I want you to also try f of 2 divided by g of 2. Again, plugging in those numbers. I'm going to pause my video so you can do these two on your own, and I'll come back with the answers. Okay, if done correctly, you should have got 221 for the multiplication and 9 fifths for the division, which you cannot simplify. I showed all of my work here so you can check your solutions. I'm not going to go through it all, so if you have any questions, please um, find a way to get those answered. I left a place for you to write some summary statements or key points on the back, so make sure you do that. And that is all I have for you, so have a great rest of your night.